If you're looking for the best rolling pins, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have JK, Adams Maple Wood Medium Gourmet Rolling Pin. This style of rolling pin, also called a Baker's or American Rolling Pin, is most likely the one you are familiar with. It has a wooden barrel that rotates around a dowel attached to two handles, usually wooden as well. This is by far the most common style you'll find in home kitchens. The 12-inch rolling pin is made in Vermont of solid maple, and the barrel is waxed to prevent sticking when you are rolling out your dough. The rolling pin is easy to care for thanks to the steel axle that runs through the middle. To clean it, scrape off as much dough as you can then wash it with warm soapy water and dry it immediately. The one complaint from consumers has been that JK. Adams puts a sticker on the rolling pin and it can sometimes be challenging to remove all the residue. Thankfully, a bit of vegetable oil or an adhesive remover like Goo Gun should take care of it. Just be sure to wash it before using for the first time. If anything does go wrong with your rolling pin, you'll be happy to know it's covered by a lifetime warranty. Moving on to the next at number two with Fargoware Classic Wood Rolling Pin. Made from moisture-resistant hardwood, this no-nonsense rolling pin is a solid choice for any kitchen. The barrel portion of the rolling pin measures 10 inches, which is pretty standard for most rolling pins. This model even rivals our budget pick in price, so even if you aren't sure how often you'll use it, you won't have to worry about spending too much on this pin. Even though this model has nylon bearings, which should be rust-proof, it's still best to hand wash this rolling pin and dry it immediately after to prevent any warping or cracking of the wood. Customers have praised the minimal finish on the barrel saying it prevents sticking, but as with all rolling pins, you'll need to add some flour to make it completely non-stick. The one complaint from customers is that the handles are a bit stiff at first, making it hard to roll until the pin loosens up a bit. But once you've used it a couple of times, the bearings start rolling more smoothly. The number three position is held by Joseph Joseph Adjustable Rolling Pin with Removable Rings for bakers who like to be precise, but might not be the best at eyeballing how wide or thick their dough is. The Joseph Joseph Adjustable Rolling Pin is the ideal solution. The barrel of the pin has engraved measurements so you can tell just how long your pastry measures without having to break out the ruler. Just as importantly, this pin will help you measure out the thickness of your dough as well. Simply put one set of the colorful silicone rings on the ends of the pin, and it will help you measure your dough to 1 16 inch, 1 6 inch, 1 4 inch, or 3 8 inch by keeping the pin raised to those heights. Of course, if the thickness doesn't matter that much, simply remove the rings and you'll have a completely straight dowel or shaker style rolling pin that is similar to the French style. But without the tapered ends, the pin itself is made from solid beach and measures 16 1 slash 2 inches long. Be sure to hand wash the rolling pin to keep it in good condition for the longest amount of time. Next at number 4 we have Fox Run Polished Marble Rolling Pin with Wooden Cradle. Aside from being aesthetically pleasing, a marble rolling pin has a couple of major benefits. First, unlike wood, a marble pin can be chilled in the fridge or freezer, which is ideal for working with temperature-sensitive doughs like puff pastry or pie crust. Second, marble pins are generally heavier than their wooden counterparts, so they can help flatten the stiff dough with ease. This model from Fox Run has a 10-inch pin and 4-inch wooden handles on each end. It also comes with a matching wooden base to make it easier to store in a cabinet or on your open shelving. No more worrying about a heavy 5-pound marble pin rolling off the shelf and onto your toes. As with all our rolling pin picks, this one should be hand-washed with soapy water and dried immediately. Fox Run also makes a black marble version, but it is more than double the price of the white marble. The number 5 position is held by J.K. Adams Maple Wood French Dowel Rolling Pin a staple in many restaurant kitchens and in the home kitchens of professional chefs. The French-style rolling pin made from a single dowel with tapered ends and no handles is gaining popularity among cooks of all types. Why? Because the lack of handles gives you more control over the pin and makes it easier to get a feel for the texture of the dough. This French-style model from J.K. Adams is made of maple and is handcrafted in Vermont. It's the same brand as our best overall rolling pin, J.K. 
Adams knows a thing or two about rolling pins thanks to their more than 60 years in business in New England. Available in two thicknesses, the fatter FRP1 and the thinner FRP2, this rolling pin is one of the longest on our list measuring more than 20 inches. That means you can roll out a full rectangle of cinnamon roll dough without having to work in sections and worry about getting everything even. This pin should be hand washed and treated with mineral oil occasionally. If the surface gets too rough, you can sand it lightly and then wash and apply oil again to restore the finish. The number six position is dominated by Good Cook Classic Wood Rolling Pin. For anyone who only needs a rolling pin once a year for making holiday pie crust, a budget model like this one from Good Cook will probably do just fine. This model is fairly basic. It is made from a single piece of hardwood, although the type is not specified, and has nylon bearings to make the rolling pin glide smoothly and avoid rusting. Even with that, the pin should still be hand washed and dried immediately. The main complaint with this model is that the label, which is almost as large as the barrel itself, comes stuck to the wood directly and is a bit difficult to remove. You'll need some elbow grease and possibly even some vegetable oil to get the residue off completely. Moving on to the next at number seven with JK, Adam's Dowel Rolling Pin. If you're making large pizzas or you need to roll out large sheets of pastry or cookie dough, a long rolling pin makes it easier to get an even thickness. This straight rolling pin is 19 inches long and has no handles to get in the way. It's made by hand in Vermont from sustainably grown maple wood from local trees. The pin is two inches in diameter and weighs just under one one slash two pounds, so it's heavy enough to handle dough, but not so heavy to make it difficult to use. It is not dishwasher safe and should be washed with warm, soapy water and dried immediately. Because this pin is so long, you might not be able to fit it into a standard size kitchen drawer. The number eight position is held by Mrs. Anderson's Baking Children's Rolling Pin. Instill a love of baking in your kids by making it easy for them to participate. An adult rolling pin can be difficult for little hands to maneuver, so a child size option is a worthwhile investment. Plus, it will come in handy even for adults when making mini pies or rolling out personal size pizza crust. This kid's rolling pin gives you seven inches of rolling space and measures just over 11 one slash two inches handle to handle. It is made of solid wood, but is still incredibly light to handle. That's good for kids, but it also means you won't have the weight of the pin helping flatten the dough. So it's best to use this pin with dough that has warmed up a bit before you try to roll it out. Reviewers have gotten this pin for children as young as three and have reported that it is a hit. Like all of the pins on our list, hand wash and dry this one after use to increase its lifespan. Next at number nine, we have Whetstone Woodenware 23 French Rolling Pin. While I love the size and tapered edges of this pin, I felt I did not have the skill to wield it effectively. Despite years of practice rolling out dough, I found it tricky to achieve an even thickness. The tapered edges of this pin essentially act as handles, but also end up distributing pressure in a way you may not have intended. So, while this pin was a close runner-up, I wouldn't recommend it to those who aren't ready to invest some serious time in learning how to master its ways. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by OXO Good Grips Non-Stick Rolling Pin. I was ready to love this non-stick rolling pin, but was ultimately unimpressed. The positives, the rolling action was smooth, the handles were comfortable, and it was the easiest to clean out of all the rolling pins I tested. The negatives, not only was this pin heavier than it needed to be, but the non-stick aspect did hold up. Nearly every dough stuck fast. While the flour that would have helped with the sticking sloughed off, utterly useless. The pin is also downright hefty, which makes storage tough. That's all for today. We upload product review videos every single day. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.